with a special guest today, Addison Barnes from the US, N NBA superstar who plays with the Sacramento Kings now, but he has been a championship winner with the, uh, one, arguably one of the greatest team in NBA history. So, how has it been in India? It's been great being here in India. You know, just yeah. to be able to see some of the food and uh, the people and experience it, it's been great. So, uh, you've seen some kids play over here in mm -hmm. the last uh, one week or so. And uh, obviously, you, your career has been, I mean, well followed or well documented from the time you used to play in school. So from there on, a uh, college superstar and then picked in the first round itself in the NBA draft. Mm -hmm. And uh, then from then on, the championship and then uh, with Dallas and now Sacramento Kings, right? So, uh, what do you reckon at what level our kids are over here, Indian kids, uh, as far as uh, skill is concerned, as far as physicality is concerned? Because I, I saw the selection over here and some of the kids are as tall as you, but, but what about the game? <laughs> yeah, I, the kids here, you know, they're great. You know, just yeah. to see them and see how they play. They play with a lot of passion, a lot of intensity, so that's good. But the biggest thing in terms of growing it just takes time, you know. Mm -hmm. These kids are going to fill out into their bodies. They're going to get stronger. You know, they're going to, you know, develop certain things by just playing longer, playing in a more structured environment, and you know, like the NBA Academy. So, um, I think they're well on track to do everything they need to do. And you're right; some of those kids are taller than me, and probably will continue to be taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but then uh, there is a system in place in the U.S. and uh, in India that kind of a competition is not there, not existent at all. So, how important is? competition at that early stage, does it bring you down because if you keep on losing, that's a negative impact, but then if you play and you improve as well. So, uh, on that regard, what do, you, uh, what do you think India should do to aspire to reach, not at the level the US is right now, but at least, uh, at, least at a level where India is competitive at the world stage? Focus on the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Building out those fundamentals and making sure that the kids understand you know, the basic skills and mastering those. That's the biggest way to, to raise the collective level of the talent. I mean, if the kids understand, okay, this is my building blocks, okay, and now I can add things on top of that, that's how you get better. But if you don't have that foundation, it's hard to build. So the, it's a question of basketball culture as well, in a way. And so uh, that brings you to another high point of your career, which was to represent the US in the Olympics and winning a gold medal. So uh, how was your experience playing that basketball because it's, I mean, it's the same game, but it's different as well compared to NBA. Just the opportunity to represent your country, um, it means so much because, you know, you work all your life to, to get better and to try to play at the highest level and you have the opportunity to go and compete um, on the world's biggest stage once again. Uh, it's, it's a surreal experience. And what about interacting with the other players? Because obviously you go in, the U.S. team is a team full of superstars and you go in, then all the other teams also look up to you. So, uh, have you interacted with them? Did you get a chance to interact with the other teams that came to play at the Olympics? And uh, what is the basketball culture like? What is the difference? Did you observe anything? How, is, how are things seen differently? How is the game play? Things like that. The NBA is super diverse. So, you know, there was a lot of international players that you know, you've played against before or you had played with. Um, so, just seeing those guys on the national team, is always a friendly camaraderie and we all play the same game we all love the same game we all watch you know basketball at a high level whether it's Euro League or whether it's the NBA or whether it's um, just international basketball in general so just seeing other players is a mutual respect um, between them when you step on the floor and uh, getting to your high, high point in the NBA the Warriors team so you uh, uh, were part of the team when the team was forming and building towards that championship. And so, what makes that team special? I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful to watch. I mean, so, uh, your, your uh, experience with the team and about what, what made you tick, what made you rise above the, everyone and win that championship and then continue dominating the league. Just to be able to have a group of guys who you know, we're able to be together for four years. Some of those guys, even longer than that, you know, seven, eight years. Uh, it's really rare in the NBA to be able to have that group. So I think we really got together along. We got along together off the floor, and that's what brought the chemistry on the floor. And we just, <laughs> we, we hit at the right time that, you know, just allowed our team to take off. Off the floor, you meant. So what was the camaraderie like? What was your life like in general as a team? I think a lot of guys just really, um, enjoyed being around each other. 
We enjoyed okay. the conversations, just the vibe. Um, it was mutual between you know, a lot of us, and I think that's you know, something that's really special because you see it maybe on a high school team where everyone's from the same city or a college team where you guys are living together in the same dorm, but at the NBA level, to be that close is pretty rare. So, uh, but you never used to drink with them because I, I read somewhere that you are a teetotaler. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I did not and that you that. drank first time in your life after the championship ring came. That is correct. So maybe you should drink more to win more championships. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, getting getting into that again. So the move happened and all that. So uh, now with Kings, you must be you might be expected to take that leader's role where you have a lot of young players around you and to guide them to using your experience, using your experience of winning the big prize, things like that. So, how is your new, new role with the, with the team, with Kings? Yeah, you know, I'm excited to be with Sacramento. It's an opportunity to grow, but also try to do something special. You know, this, that franchise hasn't been to the playoffs in a long time. I haven't been in the playoffs in the last three years. You know, we have a lot of guys who are hungry, who are trying to grow and make a name for themselves in this league. So. You know, we have a lot of motivation as a group, uh, as a team, as a franchise, as a city, uh, to really you know, make an impact. And uh, what does it take for the team to actually make an impact in the playoffs? Now, when you look at the season is over, and next season the build-up will happen, things like that. So, uh, where do you think the team is lacking? What, what are the plans? Uh, how, do you, how do you reckon that boost in the performance will happen somewhere? Just the attention to detail. You know, playing every single game, focusing on the little things. I think that's really important, it's just trying to go and take that next step. And we have the opportunity to do it, but we have to start from the beginning, just doing that every single day. And uh, attention to detail means that how does an NBA star or an NBA team work on attention? So there would be an individual individual sessions happening, there will be a team session happening. So how, how do you pan out the day or a week in training? That way? Just looking at a lot of film, um, analyzing kind of the mistakes that we made, maybe the day before, the game before, whatever it may be and trying to correct those. And then hopefully that, you know, all the mistakes that you did continue to get smaller and smaller and smaller as the season goes on. She mentioned that you love Indian food so much so that she has given a challenge that you might be used to eating more spice than people like me. Uh -huh. So, so uh, in your time here, what is the best Indian food that you have? Which, which, is, the, which is your favorite dish for instance? Ooh, my favorite dish, that's tough. Um, probably either palak paneer or uh, chicken okay. tikka masala. Okay, and uh, uh, other than that, uh, uh, compared to the food that you have you, uh, in the US like, on a regular basis, you follow a strict regimen being a professional athlete. And uh, I don't think all the masala does well, so it, it's good that you came here during off season, right? Yes, uh, this is definitely um, a little bit off the diet in terms yeah. of how much Indian food I ate. But when I get back home, I don't think I'll be able to eat as much as I have since I've been here. But you do have a head start compared to your teammates and the other team you're going to play. Uh, do have a head start uh, compared to the other because you're here, you already got started gotten, gotten used to the country, the weather, <laughs> the people, the food and all that. So uh, when they come in, you would be expected to be the boss so <laughs> uh, we, we'll see we'll see you know it's, it's a long trip you know coming yeah, from yeah. sacramento all the way out here but mm -hmm. you know it's something that we're all excited about you know a lot of guys have never been to india before so we're really looking forward to it and uh, last question uh, personally what is your i mean this is this would be stepping into a second in in a sense second part of your career uh, with a new team and slightly more leadership role in a way and uh, how do you look at what is your mission statement for the next part of your career? What are your dreams like? What, what do you want? I mean, obviously, championship is one, one dream that everybody has. Beyond that, what do you want to do in the game, beyond the game? The, yeah, the biggest thing um, that I would say would be my mission statement or whatever it may be would be to pursue excellence. You know, that, that's ultimately what it comes down to, to be able to win, to be able to you know, master your craft and just give your all to the game. Um, to be the best player that you can be to help your team be the best they can be. That's what it's about. And you know, that looks different um, day to day, time to time, but just always giving your all every single day and not regretting anything on the back end is the biggest thing. And for, uh, beyond, that, um, beyond your playing days and all that, how do you reckon you would be giving back to the game? Are you interested in that or, or you're looking at a career which is like completely different? I mean, away from the game. 
No, I mean, you know, every every step along the way, you always, you know, give back. You know, I didn't get here by myself. You know, there's a lot of people who sacrificed to get me here. So, you know, trying to give back is very important to me. Okay. Thanks for your time and all the best with, the, with your career ahead with the Kings and beyond. Perfect. Thank you. And enjoy your stay in India. Thanks so much.